Some of you think keep quiet and don't make a performance, and some of you think make a performance. We're making a show, but at the same time we're asking a question about how can you make pieces of theatre that have very, very diverse audiences and give them a memorable experience. Because if you think about most live events and performance events, they have particular what you might call niche markets. And the idea of this show came from Nick's enthusiasm for an entertainer called Michael Barrymore. It's Michael Barrymore! Everybody around and what the world we were interested in as much as anything was the way that Barrymore was as a performer. Um, in some ways he was a very democratic performer. He allowed people to be the stars. He would improvise with them and create kind of electric and very funny events. A lot of the show is uh, audience interactive and about co-creation. So what we're doing today is we're trying out those bits. And your theatre point? <laughs> and we've learnt a huge amount today about how audiences are in some way co-creators of pieces of theatre. Lots of people have been in audiences where actually people fall asleep and they're not engaged. Well in one of our performances you'd never do that, you're always engaged. So there are elements of stand-up comedy in what we do in popular theatre and we think of popular theatre as an art form. How can you use those forms to have some really profound content that really speaks to people's lives? I'm just kind of interested in what, what you, the audience, think is the best thing to do. Or do you think the eye will or um, he joins in the karaoke? He hasn't come out, has he? So he never even gave up with this, do you think? We are both spectators, contributors, and giving feedback on ideas that they've already got and have already uh, performed. We're learning how two collaborative writers and dramaturges work together. There seems to be a real curiosity here and a real uh, drive to interrogate work. Coming here when people are learning and still discovering is kind of exciting because people are still forming their ideas. Hopefully they're going to get as much out of it as Danny and I are. What I try to do in the way I teach is to be inclusive to embrace everyone. You start with where you are in a room with whoever happens to be in there and you give them a memorable experience. And the same will be true as an artist. And I guess I'm researching now the best ways to do that. At its best, theatre should be at the heart of what it means to be a citizen and should be at the heart of something that has strong democratic values, both in its form and in its content.